Hey there, Alex Kidman here today taking a look at this, the Blue Ant Sound Blade. I've actually moved it off my desk, mostly because my desk's a bit of a disaster area of cables, not the greatest place to film what this is. And whilst it looks like a kind of high-tech surfboard or maybe that thing you got with those terrible Tony Hawk ride games, it is instead a soundbar for your monitor or laptop, as well as a bit of a stand for it. An interesting idea and one that it mostly pulls off fairly well. I like this device quite a lot with just the one exception. Now, like other Blue Ant products, the primary thing here is, of course, that it is a speaker. And if we flip it around to the back here, you can see upside down. Hang on. Give me two seconds. Planning ahead, folks. It counts. We can see the inputs. Nice and easy. Basically 3.5 mil or USB-C. One nice little touch here is that you get a USB-C to C and USB-C to A cable in the box, which means basically you can connect it to just about any computer sold since, I'm going to say about 1998, 1997. I mean, I was definitely involved in tech at that stage and there was USB emerging even then, although if you've kept that system running that long, well, good on you. i don't know that it's really going to do great things with this particular device. But the idea here is more you've got kind of ordinary laptop speakers. You want them to sound a fair bit better. There's also inbuilt support for Bluetooth. So you can pair it to just about anything that does Bluetooth, which is just about everything these days, let's face it. So it's a nicely flexible sort of unit. And of course, it's also designed to be a stand. Now, before I show you what it looks like with something on it, I did want to quickly talk about the one feature I don't like on this particular device which is the feet. So what's wrong with the feet? Well, if we flip it up, you also see the subwoofer there, quite nice. You can see I've actually got the extension feet on it. So by default, it actually has slightly smaller feet on it, but they've recognized, hey, you might want your monitor up a bit higher. I certainly did. Now, I love that these are included and they're very easy to install. You can see me uninstalling them. The problem in the thing that I don't like is that they're these soft rubber feet. Now, I guess if they were hard plastic, you might get some interesting reverberations, might affect the audio. But the issue is because they're this soft plastic, if you've got something on it, even sometimes when you don't, if you move it around even just a little bit, and there, it's just done it there, that foot has just come clear off. If you have to sh move this around on your desk for any reason, because you've got to reach for a cable, because you're reaching for something else, there we go, just done it again, they pop off. I really dislike this. I do have to move this thing around every once in a while. I wish they were just a little bit more robust. Having said that, it's about the only thing I don't like about this particular unit. Let's get something on top of it so you can see how that works. So here, for example, Chromebook on top of it. I've gone slightly lazy here for the purposes of review, but it will fit a reasonable size monitor. Anything up to about 29 inches is not a problem. You do also get a very simple remote control with it. Now, couple of little catches here, and it's in the nature of the technology. This isn't really the sound blade's fault, but if you're connecting via 3.5 mil, then things like your volume control and your input selections, those will work, but things like track skipping will not. And that's just inherent because 3.5 mil is not going to carry the right kind of signals that USB-C will. But I can tell you, it works just fine off this, works just fine through other laptops and desktops that I've tested all good. You can also tell it's an Australian product because when I fire the power up, we get that distinctive little yes. blue ant didge. And as you just heard, because I was talking over it, it tells me which input I'm using. Auxiliary input. USB. And of course, if I was using Bluetooth, it would tell me I was using Bluetooth. Now, one of the big challenges here, of course, is I can't really show you how the audio works because both there's copyright implications and, of course, YouTube's just going to crunch the sound up anyway. You get three presets for game, music, and movie playback. I've tended to leave it on music. That seems the most balanced to my ear. Game is rather predictably far more bass-centric. Movie sits somewhere between music and game. I've found, as I said, the music preset to be the one that I preferred. At $299, the Blue End Sound Edge isn't exactly 
inexpensive. You obviously could invest in a decent set of desktop speakers and get perhaps a wider soundstage or a more game-centric thing if that's what you wanted, but it's nicely compact. It works well. It's a reasonable enough stand as long as you don't have to move it. I do still wish those feet were a little bit stronger. And otherwise, it's a really good product that definitely does what it says. I, I don't know that I'd spend a ton of time watching movies on it unless it was my only option because like most sound bars, there's a limit to how far you can push a 2.1 soundscape. But the general overall output is really good, really pleasing. It's a nice accompaniment to my desk. Uh, I should point out it comes in a wide variety of colors, which is kind of surprising. It's, it's kind of iMac y in its color schemes. But I've got to say, I actually like this kind of silvery black finish anyway. And the reason I like that is it goes with just about anything. The really bright colors, they certainly stand out. And I suppose if you had, for example, the complimentary color iMac, that would work well with them. But at the same time, it's going to clash with just about everything. Black goes with anything. So that's my review of the Blue Ant Sound Blade. Generally recommended. Got any questions? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to hit like and hammer that subscribe button.